worlds that other teachers have made. Well, there's a quick way to do this. If you're in Minecraft EDU, obviously you've got the program that you can run. Uh, but if we start our server launcher, it will bring up this. And if you go to Open Worlds folder and go into Save Worlds folder, you'll have some worlds that you've created earlier. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy a zip file into this folder called Programming Terms. Now, if I open this up, I can extract all into that folder. Okay, so if I go to select Saved World now, I'll just close this. Start server. And there is my saved world that I made at school. Now, if I click start the selected server, it will start running my server. So it will take a minute or two to load. While that's loading, I'm going to restore my launcher. There we go. There's my server starting up called Programming Terms. And then what I can do is I can start Minecraft EDU. I'm going to launch that. And you can see it keeps all the world settings that I had at school. And uh, you can just play around. Now if I just minimize this. Here's my Minecraft EDU launching. Now I just want to show you this because it's one way you could use it across other subjects. So I'm just going to go on to this. Let's see if I can spell my own name right. Continue. Let's go to multiplayer. Direct connects. And I'm going to put in the IP address. 192.168.5. And I'm going to join that server. I'll go in as a teacher. <coughs> and here's the world that I made at school. So it's quite simple. You go into these buildings and it explains a different piece of uh, kind of the different keywords. So the students have some kind of understanding. So I can go through there. There's another video, while loops. Similar to a for loop, the while loop will do something while a condition is met. Example, while I'm hungry, eat food. So there's some simple ways that you could use this in other subjects. So you could have keywords which are relevant to science or 